All right, crisis averted chat, let's go. Today, we're gonna be playing Art of Rally. It's a game that I've played a little bit of before. Um, I only played it on the Xbox though, but um, my save data is carried over, so I've got like, I've got some things like the mixtapes of photos and the two letters there, but we're gonna, we're gonna go into it. We'll do a little bit of free roam as I get myself familiar with it again. Um, go group two. What should we go? Let's go the Daz 220. But yeah, here we are. And let's begin. Now, it has been a while since I've played this game. But yeah, this is such a, such a beautiful little game. Um, not particularly good at rally, as, as you can see. I'm not great at it. This is, um, it's uh, available on Xbox Game Pass only for like the next week or something like that. So if you don't have, if you do have the Xbox Game Pass, I'd highly suggest checking it out before the game actually leaves the Game Pass. Because my god, it's just, it's so beautiful. It's such a simple little fun game. Like this is the free roam stage and there's also a bunch of actual like little rally stages. The pr only problem is, I'm no good at rally. Also, these guys move out of your way if you try and hit them, which I think is kind of neat. Yeah, I suck at rally, so this is going to be quite an interesting one. I much prefer the stuff on tarmac, so if you see me making mistakes, don't be surprised. Righto. I like, there's obvious parodies of brands as well. Rido is obviously Marlboro cigarettes because you're not allowed to use cigarette advertising anymore, so let's do this jump. Oh, there's a letter there, I can try and get that. I got it! Hey, let's go! Hey, let's go! I don't know how to go fast in a rally car. I'll be honest with you all there. Going fast in a road car is pretty simple because traction is easy to find, right? Not so much for this. That looks... It's over there. I could probably I could probably take the boat, but fuck it, let's go off road. Oh, there is a letter. L. Let's go. There we go. I only need one more letter to complete this stage. But what I am gonna do what does that say on the bottom? Brick. Hashtag brick. Lol. Now I've already done some, like I did these two. And I reset this just to make sure my camera was sort of set up in a way that wasn't blocking any of the data. So yeah, we'll just go normal right now. I'm not that confident in it because I haven't played this game very extensively and I suck at rally. So yeah. Anyway, you're about to see the true beauty of this game. Like each of these stages only gets used a few times, but the amount of effort that they've put into it, it's just, it's so gorgeous. And it's like, it's true to its art form in the sense that, um, it's a historic take of like all the all the history of rallying, shall we say? So yeah, let's go. Fuck me! <laughs> Already in the water. Let's go. Yeah, you see it. Let's go. So as, as I'm proving here, I'm not very good at rally. Um, I think that much is certain. It's such a cute little game. I just love this game so much. I love the way that people also sort of work here. And it's got animals and everything. Very nice. But nearly crashed into that barrier. I'm gonna be finishing like last. Honestly, I'm going to finish so far back. There's an Australian flag. That's me. That's me. That's this guy. As we pass some almighty gazelles. Pass some zebras. We're coming down to the finish line now. Oh. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, this is going to be a fun stream because, as you can tell, I'm not particularly great at this game. 3-6, we are... Not last, we're third. That's alright. We can make it back up. Let's go into it. Uh, 
that. Good launch. Just need to make sure we don't go off too many times. We'll just keep it on the road. We should be fine. This is a much better start than we got last time. I think last time we were immediately into the water. Racing through the Kenyan countryside. Oh shit. Racing through the grass on the Kenyan countryside. Go up and over the hills. Pass all the little animals. It's just, the animals add such a nice ambience to the game as well. Just very, a very well thought out and simple game. Alright. About to go through some more water. It's like driving anywhere in regional Victoria right now. I'm slowly getting better. I wouldn't say this is exceptional driving by me. But I'd still say it's okay in comparison to our first one. We might get a first place out of this. If not, that's an embarrassing start, isn't it? I really like the elevation and the like scenery change in this this game. It's very nice. I suppose you've gotta have that sort of stuff in a rally game. But still, it's just it's just what makes it stand out, you know. Drafts in the water, let's go. It's kind of cute. And we come over the finish line to finish with a 5.3.448. And that puts us in first. Stage and through the whole thing. And this one's in Sardinia. And this one's gravel, a little bit different. Um, still not my comfort zone. I much prefer the tarmac. But we'll see how we go. As we get started. Not a bad launch. Let's hope we get it right in the first half. Oh shit. Alright. Didn't slide off wide there. Kayaking got cancelled. No, that sucks. Why did the kayaking get cancelled? Also, I didn't know you were going kayaking today. You might have told me, but I could probably try. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, a nice 360. That was meant to happen. That was meant to happen. I'm just built different like that, I guess. I'd love to go kayaking in this, like, where we're having an album now. Bloody brilliant. Feels like it's been too long since we've had just decent sunny weather down there. This one less intense. Yeah, it's actually brilliant. It's nice and sunny. Ooh. Nearly lost it, nearly lost it. But we kept it. Um... I'll open the blinds after this race, so that you can see how sunny it is. But after just a fair few weeks of... Fuck. Nice, good job for me. After a fair few weeks of, like, rainy, dreary weather, it's just a nice change up. Uh, shot turn. Ah, shit. Drift. Drifted a little bit too far there. Didn't break enough. I'm going to miss this stage and then win the whole event again. Right, there we go. I was making sure I wasn't drifting wide at that one. After the past few where I have. As we're near the end of this one, and we're near the end of the stage, just up ahead, we'll squeeze on through, and we will finish with a 330.8. P4 at the stage, yeah. That's not ideal. But, as I was saying about the weather, Decent launch. That wasn't as fast as I'd hoped. Just need to not, not make mistakes. Try and maximise by just keeping it clean once again. Alright, keeping it clean so far. Already halfway through this stage, so... Take a little corner cut there. Very tight, very snaky. Go through the wind farms. It's such a nice ambience to this game. It's very, very calming to play. Even when it's infuriating with how much I suck at this game. Oh, 
couldn't exactly see where I was going, but could could make a good prediction. Here's the checkpoint here to finish off the stage. The 226.4. That puts us first, once again. First and first in the second one after being down in the first one. And we won that by four seconds. So that was closer than it needed to be, really. Oh shit, there's a little blurb. As rally was growing in popularity, regulations were needed to better organize the events and enhance the competition. The biggest rally events of the time were united in a single championship attracting manufacturers to display their cars, drivers to race, and crowds to watch. This car is tiny in comparison. There's an Australian flag again. There's a few of them. Obviously these are based off of real cars. I, li I like their like, fake names. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. It is. This has been good so far. Just need to make sure we don't get undone by sliding wide. That's what keeps costing us in the first stage of the like of the first two we did. We just ran wide where we didn't need to. Little point, but that's fine. We do a little bit of cheating. It's good because touching the grass a little bit slows you down, so it can help you sometimes when you turn into the corner. We're nearing the end. There we go. Oh, what a good picture. That'd be a great screenshot. And we're first. It's 9.7 k's on gravel. A little bit longer than previous ones we've done. The Mini is serving us very well, though. If one's longer, it tends to be more cut out. Okay, this is the same one that we did earlier. I can tell by that jump because last time we did a 360 after completing it, so... This car has a ridiculously bad top speed. So I should note that one for next time. There's going to be some long courses. Probably don't choose this one. This one is going much better than when we did in the other car. By this point I think we've made like four mistakes so it cost us so much time. Whereas now I feel like we're on par, we're on pace. Get another jump, that's fair. Once again, no spin. But we are hitting the limit of what we can be doing in our speed capacity very quickly. Another jump, oh, that one's dangerously close to being out. Look at them awkwardly shuffle out of the way. They're not in any hurry, they're just casually moving. Like, oh, I'm sorry, didn't see that. Kind of like when you're looking at something in a supermarket and somebody walks in front of you and is being very slow, and then they look and see you looking at where they were. It's like, oh, oops, sorry. Just let me move out of the way for you, awkward. That's what they're doing. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're just vibing. This has been a really solid run, just putting it together. I think we took 30 seconds longer than the other car. And that's 30 seconds it's saved by just not making mistakes. Stage results, P1 again. That's good. You love to see it. Where are we now? We are San Benedetto. R. Ah, I don't know what the R stands for. And we'll begin the stage. I don't think... Because we haven't really crashed. We haven't made any huge errors, so... I didn't know you could repair your car in series there, so that's pretty cool. Soccer grip. And I like the stylistic choice of the rocks being like square and jagged and stuff like that. Get another house, that one's very broken down. This is going well, this is going very well. Barring any major mistakes, I think we will win this series. But getting a clean sweep from stages would be quite nice. Oh. I saw another Australian flag through there. They're really rooting for me. Two minutes in, we've got another quarter to go. It's pretty flat out through this section. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, nearly lost it there. Thankfully, the track came back on itself, so... Otherwise, that would have been five seconds and we spawn out to our time. Is that the end of the stage? It is, and we come through. 235C616 to finish P1 all stages. Let's go. That's huge after our first two. Um, in ahead of Paddy Kirkop, James Watson, Marku Allen. Alright, there we go. We've completed 1969.